day 346, 2023. Tonight is the latest for me to record my vlog. What made me so late? Let me tell you. I had my busy work day afterwards. We had dinner afterwards. I went to my Kung Fu class, came home, was already quite late. Then I had to respond to one of the emails that I promised to respond. Then took a shower, it was already quite late. And then my husband invited me to finish the last episode of the TV series, Fleshman is in Trouble. The show is about the couple who were in a bad relationship and got divorced and then share two sides of the stories and the episode itself what it wasn't that long but because my husband and i usually when we watch a tv show or movies if it relates to our life or if we had some thoughts or if there were some new words or expressions that I I, I am not familiar then would we would pause and talk about it and sometimes talking about our own life so it ended up for a couple hours and that's why it's so late so from the show I gained many insights, but then I want to share a couple. One is that open communication is so important in re relationships or marriages. And everyone can has one set of stories. But in order to know the whole story, you need to know, need to hear two sets of the stories. So that applies to a relationship of communication. So always be open to, sh to communi communicate. And the second insight is that just cherish what we already have. We can p pursue something better, but what we have could be the most important things that we have. Of course, if you are alive, if you are truly in trouble and you can do better to improve it, try it, do it. But still, keep in mind, cherish what you already have, cherish what you already can enjoy. Because just looking up more and more and more and chasing something that you may never be able to Find, such as figuring out what your life is about. Sometimes it's hard to define that kind of big topic and just enjoy the ordinary, imperfect life. To see the beauty in it, you still can find the good moments and joy and happiness in it. I think in the past I shared gratitude and appreciation nurtures happiness. If we want to have happiness, we got to appreciate what we already have. So those are two, two insights from that show. And I recommend that if you like shows, uh, like that. It's a very short TV series and you can watch it and enjoy it. And my husband and I enjoyed it. And see you tomorrow. Bye.